Greetings and welcome to the Power of State Government, a fireside chat between Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call and Public Rights Project founder Jill Habig. This welcome also comes from 60 plus of our government office partners and 100 fellows who are in dozens of cities across the country helping us redefine enforcement. Our reason for being is really to close the gap between the promise of our laws and the actual lived reality of communities that have been underserved and marginalized. We work with state and local governments across the country, like the Wisconsin Attorney General's Office, to help them use legal power that they already have to protect communities' civil rights, but that they may not have the capacity or the resources internally to fully utilize that power in service of their communities. There had been uh, AGs from a different party uh, for 12 years prior to me. And, you know, one of the things that I saw as really important to do in the office was to develop uh, a lot of our, our public protection work, uh, our work uh, enforcing environmental laws, enforcing consumer laws, enforcing uh, civil rights laws to the extent that we had that authority. Now that sounds great in theory. The problem is uh, we also were walking into a very difficult budget situation. We both uh, knew what areas we wanted to work to strengthen the office in, uh, but needed to do it in the constraints of a, a difficult budget environment. Well, that sounds exactly like the kind of problem that a uh, public rights project exists to, to help offices with. So this is exactly the, the kind of leadership that we love to support at PRP. So, you know, just in the last 20 minutes or so, we've covered the environment, voting, consumers, housing, toxic chemicals, et cetera. I think this gives people a flavor of just the scope of, of work that you have in front of you and that so many of our government partners are, are facing.